Waiting at the bus stop, Frida spots a beautiful car. Inside her each eye, the ciliary muscles contract to make the lens thicker as she looks as she looks at the car. What can we say about the motion of the car? We can assume that she sees a sharp image of the car as it moves. Okay, so the ciliary muscles contracted, the lens became thicker. Why did that happen? Did the car move closer to her? Was the car at the same spot or did the car move away from her? Think about this. Okay, hopefully you gave this a shot. Now to go about this question, let's draw, let's draw a lens and let's represent this car with, with this point object. Let's say, let's say right here. So the car is over here right now. And initially everything is fine. Strida is able to see the car. There is an image of the car forming on her retina. And we can say that this right here, this is the ray that comes from the car. We can note this as car. This is over here. There's a retina and the image is forming at the retina. But something happened and the CDR muscles contracted, which made the lens thicker. So now the lens sort of looks like this. It, it's thicker. Now, how does a thick convex lens differ from a thinner convex lens? The thicker convex lens can have a shorter focal length, right? Let's let's think about it. So if, if a lens is really thick, if you have some ray coming onto it, that it can converge the ray to a pretty short distance. So the focal length is much smaller for a thicker lens compared to a thinner lens. So now, even if the car is really close to Frida's eye, this thick lens can still converge the ray to the right to the right place on the retina so that the image is still focused and Frida is able to see the car. This tells us that the car has moved closer, closer to her.